conductors and insulators. In this module, you will learn about conductors and insulators. What we see here is a simple electric circuit which consists of a cell, a key, connecting wires and a bulb. As we close the key, the bulb glows. This is because on closing the key, the circuit gets complete. An electric current flows through it, making the bulb glow. Now let us cut any one of the connecting wires. We observe that the bulb does not glow this time. This happens because the circuit breaks and electric current stops flowing through it. So, we now have two free ends of connecting wires. Let us connect these two ends to an iron nail. Hey, the bulb starts to glow. This means that the iron nail completes the circuit and allows electric current to flow through it. The materials that allow current to flow through them are called conductors. Certain non-metals like water and graphite, that is pencil lead however, are conductors. Human beings do conduct electricity as they have a large amount of water in their body. That is why we get an electric shock if we accidentally touch a live wire. To protect us from electric shock, all the connecting wires are covered with insulators such as plastic. Also, the handles of devices like pliers and screwdrivers used by an electrician are made of plastic. In this module you have learned, materials that allow electric current to flow through them are called conductors. Most metals and certain non-metals like water and graphite are conductors. Materials that do not allow electric current to flow through them are called insulators. Plastic, rubber and glass are insulators.